Yo, what up everybody? A couple people wanted me to make a detailed build on this little MX400 Razor that I got here. Um, I kind of flew through it on one of my other videos, so <clears throat> this video is strictly just to kind of run down how I built it, what parts I used, and how it works. So, um, basically, if you don't already know, put you up on speed, these things are 24 volt systems normally. This is a 36 volt overvolt controller from Fast Scooters, and basically I'm running it off of two DeWalt batteries. So these are actually knockoffs because they were cheap on Amazon. I think it was like 150 bucks for two of these. These are 6.5 amp hours. So I run them in series for a total of 40 volts, which is really only, they're only really 18 a piece. Uh, DeWalt kind of lies to you, but um, that's another story. Um, so 36 volts and uh, we run them in series. You can kind of see through here. I just have one positive side connected to one negative side of both of these 3D printed base plates that I actually bought too. I can drop a link for those in the description um, as long as, I mean, as well as everything else that I got here, which isn't much. I mean, this is pretty cheap to do this kit. I mean, I found this bike in the dumpster, so I wasn't looking to spend mega bucks on it. It was originally for my daughter, and it is for my daughter, but she can't even ride a bike yet. So we're going to let her <laughs> finish, figure out how to ride the bike first, and then we'll go to something like this. But um so basically I bought this overvolt controller designed for a 250 watt motor, which is what this is stock. Um, and anyway, going back to the wiring, it's just, you know, I mean, it connected one negative to one positive and then the two that you have off of there remaining that are negative and positive go to the power wires here. Um, and I had just soldered these wires to the factory battery connection because it turns out that that actually just plug and plays all the wires on this kit with this controller i'll just plug and play with razor you don't have to do anything else besides plug them into the right spots so that makes that pretty cool um you can kind of see what i did here on the bottom um i have an aluminum plate here that i had actually just bolted in the stock location i think this middle one is just a self tapper i just ran a self tapper to get one side of it and this one is actually a factory bolt location for this bracket here which is normally for the battery and um, the controller, a lot of people said online, wouldn't fit between the two um, holes that are existing on the bracket. But what I ended up doing was just um, kind of hammering them. Um, and I got them to be actually perfect, to bolt down exactly where the factory controller bolts. So it kind of works out pretty good. Um, as you can see, I got a couple zip ties just to hold everything together. Um, another piece of the puzzle is the throttle. And I believe it comes with the controller in the kit. Um, I'm pretty sure if not it's separate, but it's not very expensive. They're like $15 a piece So not bad. It's got a key here. You know what I mean? Um, let me put the batteries in so I can show you what it actually does when you have power And the batteries are easy. You just literally slide them in there. Oh, wow Not like that <laughs> Of course, it's a lot different too when the covers on there. There's just a little rectangle right here So it's kind of hard to miss little So we get power, boom, boom, boom. That's what it looks like on your key. Um, nothing really makes any noise unless you hit the throttle, which I'll hit the throttle a little bit. So this setup is pretty much good for 20 miles an hour, depending on the weight, obviously. Um, but that's about where you're at with this. It's not gonna be very fast. It doesn't have a whole lot of torque because it's just a stock engine and all, a stock motor, I mean, and all that. So, um, stock gearing. For now, it's perfect because it's already too fast for my daughter and it needs a potentiometer to actually slow it down. But um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, I can't think of anything else that you guys might want to know about. Um, on the chain setup, everything's stock. I just got rid of the chain guard. I know in one of my other videos I was talking about how, man, I'll leave it on there. And I only left this on there just so it doesn't spray grease potentially forward on me. We'll see how that works out. I don't know. These are all ideas, man. I just, I don't know what I'm doing here. I just kind of go with it and see what happens. So um, I cut off a couple of the brackets, but I hadn't even taken off the wheel, so I just cut them off good enough to where you can't really tell. And um, like I said, the main goal here was I was just painting these plastics, getting them to match the rest of the bike. I actually took some, um, what is it, uh, acetone and took off the little stripe that's on the seat and whatnot. Um, got rid of the rest of the stickers and all that. 
just kind of want to clean it up, make it look nice. Um, I really need a spoke wrench. All these spokes are kind of loose and they make a lot of noise and some of them just need to be tightened. And I hope that's something I can do and I don't have to buy new wheels. But if I do have to buy new wheels, it wouldn't be the worst. It'd be kind of an upgrade for this thing. I mean, future plans, I mean, it'd be cool to actually just put the stock SX500 motor. See, there's one of those behind there. <laughs> It put that stock motor on here and um, stock controller and all that and just run a lithium battery on it and it'd probably be really cool on this little bike but like I said I don't want to make it any faster and it really works really well for what it is right now probably get about 45 minutes to an hour of drive time but I'm also not like full throttle I kind of live where there's like some hills so a lot of it's just freewheeling <clears throat> it's just a stock freewheel so nothing's welded or anything like that these little ones are fun because they're kind of squirrely, but they're also really stiff because they have no suspension and it will hurt your ass going over bumps. Like any time I try to take it off road, it hurts. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, the plastics are actually right here behind it, obviously. And they just go on like that. It slides right on, couple bolts, and everything kind of fits under there pretty good, you know. Let me put the um, covers back on. And then that'll probably do it for the video. All right, y'all. Uh, hopefully this uh, answers any questions that somebody might have. And like I said, uh, I'm going to drop some links in the description. And if you have any questions or comments or whatever, just drop them down below. All right. See y'all. All right. So there we have it. It's back together. All black. Looking pretty sleek. Kind of hard to see with the light. Tilt it a little here. Looking pretty good. Uh huh. Pretty sweet. All right, y'all. Like I said, thanks for watching. One more thing I almost forgot. I did wire in a uh, little LED, oh shit, <laughs> LED brake light. It's kind of cool. I need a headlight now. It's the only thing I'm missing.